Hey, crypto people, this is Ty. I'm going to be talking about IOTA and what is it and some of the pros. I'm not going to get real into the technical analysis. You can read the white paper and do your own research with that. And there's also some really good YouTubers that go real in depth with technical. But it's just going to be a brief run through and some of the pros of IOTA because a lot of people are asking about it. They say it could be the Bitcoin killer. And I, I honestly, my opinion, I think it has the potential to someday overtake Bitcoin just because of the technology. Uh, so looking at the website, what is IOTA? IOTA um, stands for Internet of Things. Uh, the A, I believe, stands for Alpha, which means small. There is a lot of IOTAs um, and versus Bitcoin, where Bitcoins are worth a whole lot of money and there's a lot less uh, Bitcoins. So IOTA held its ICO in 2015, Q4 of 2015, and at that time they raised 1,337 Bitcoins and that was valued at $584,000. So I believe it was the largest ICO that has happened to this date with a cryptocurrency and raised a lot. Uh, now we're just going to look at the charts. So IOTA uh, right now of 8-28, August 28th, IOTA's market cap is $2.4 billion at $0.86 cents at IOTA. Uh, the circulating volume is over 2.7 billion IOTAs, and that is not going to change. It was pre-mined. All the IOTAs were mined before. Um, the chart right here, so you can see since coming onto the exchanges in, earlier this year, it's done, it's done pretty decent. I think it should be doing a lot better, but there's just not many people that understand the technology and not many people that really know about it. It's just so new. But if you look in July, if you were investing in IOTA with a $700 million market cap, you'd more than have tripled your money uh, to this day in less than two months. So in that aspect, it has done really well. Uh, the markets that it's on, this is one thing lacking on it. Uh, you can look, all the volume is done with Bit, uh, Bitfinex and then it has a local market. So Bitfinex, uh, I know a lot of people have problems, especially in the U.S. with it because they're not accepting wire transfers, but you can still do Bitcoin. Uh, they just don't want the U.S. dollars because U.S. is so uh, governed on their regulations already. Uh, now, we're going to look at IOTA, uh, just to kind of talk briefly of the technology of it. So it, it uses a thing called a tangle. So it's called DAG directed acrylic graph. And it's a lot different than what people are used to with the blockchain and Bitcoin. So with uh, Bitcoin, you have two different people. You've got the holders and then you've got miners. So the miners are the ones approving all of the transactions and mining the new coins. There is no coins being mined with IOTA and the holders are actually the people that are doing transactions are the ones that are in a sense being the miners. So how it works is say for example and you can look at uh, one of the dots. Okay so say this is me and I'm going to send Bob over here a uh, five IOTAs. Well in order to do that I have to um, approve, verify the previous transactions. So it works backwards in the, the chain and each one of these is a block. So each transaction is actually a block and these are considered nodes. Um, which that makes where there's more, if there's more nodes in the network it makes it stronger because there's more transactions to approve the previous transactions. Uh, I believe they tested it out and they were able to do 400 transactions a second, which is insane. I'm sure they could do a lot more, but it's just so new and there's not many uh, nodes on the network as of today. Um, so some of the pros, we're gonna talk about the pros with IOTA. Uh, there is no transaction fees. That's that's a big one. So with uh, Bitcoin, it's, it's having a lot of problems because of the high transaction fees. Uh, I sent Bitcoin the other day and I spent $5 on the transaction fee, which isn't too bad if you're sending a whole lot of Bitcoin, but say I'm you know, sending only $10 in Bitcoin. Well, a $5 transaction fee, that's 50%. That's, that's a really high transaction fee. 
So IOTA doesn't have any transaction fees because there's no miners to pay and you're verifying the previous transaction. So I could send Bob 0.001 IOTA for no amount and that's that's huge and uh, I don't know of a lot of other coins have small transaction fees but I'm not sure of any others that have no fees so that's pretty neat. If there are please uh, put it in the comment section I'd appreciate that. Um, the bigger the network the better like I said before so uh, it has infinite scalability um, what it you know it creates that web and the more nodes it has on that web the better it works and that's that's huge so you're seeing Bitcoin having a lot of problems with scalability and approving the blocks so that's why they're they approved SegWit and then you know looking at SegWit 2 X but the infinite scalability and actually working better uh, the bigger it gets is I think that's 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 a really big thing where uh, you can't say the same for Bitcoin at least of right now um, another another big thing that I like about IOTA is uh, it's it is absolutely decentralized and I know a lot of people like oh well Bitcoin is decentralized well, it's it's not really because it's it's controlled by the miners really, and there's not that many mining pools. There's there's a select few that really run most of the mining, um, and that's why we saw the fork of Bitcoin and with Bitcoin Cash. And I'm not going to comment on that. So, uh, some of the the protections with IOTA is you can't do double spending. Um, it's safe against future quantum computing attacks, which I know there's a lot of talk about with Bitcoin. A lot of worry about that with quantum attacks. And then um, you, you can't spam attack it either. So actually, if you try and spam attack it and do a whole bunch of transactions, it's going to just improve the network because they're having to approve others. Um, now, it does have strong backers. Microsoft is involved with it. On, on what level Microsoft's involved with it, I'm, I'm really not sure, but um, I think that's a that's a big one. So some of the cons, uh, if you look back on Coin Market Cap, uh, it, it is only really on Bitfinex. Um, that that's that's kind of problematic. I'm sure it'll get on a lot more, a lot more exchanges coming pretty soon, but. Bitfinex is the only exchange currently, so to me, I, I would I'd really like to see this on more exchanges. I think the price will grow if it can get on more exchanges. Uh, the wallet, so another kind of con is the wallet. There's not really a, a uh, official wallet, uh, and I'll, I'll link these two. Uh, you can look on the GitHub. So the GitHub has, does have a wallet. I'll link this page and then they've got a little setup guide for the wallet but there's no there's no there's no official wallet for it but you can download the uh, wallet with the github and I, I think another kind of con is is they're expecting the IOT marketplace to adapt to IOTA and and, and to improve that network and I, that's that's asking a lot so uh, I don't know if the manufacturers with IoT devices are going to get on board with that. Um, it's got a, it's got a lot of hurdles to accomplish in the future. Uh, another small con is just just the marketing. It, you know, I, you can look at this as a con or a pro, but it hasn't done a whole lot of marketing, and so there's really not many people that know about IOTA. Which I guess the more people that are going to find out about it, the higher price is going to go. But um, it's going to need a lot of a lot of marketing and a lot of uh, talk and buzz to overtake Bitcoin or become a a top three coin if it does. And so that's just some of the little pros and cons. Uh, I I really I think the technology G is revolutionary. I, I I like it. I I'm invested a little bit on it. So and I'm not telling you to invest use your money your your own responsibility for your money I'm not a financial advisor but I'm invested a little bit of it and I I, I can see this coin going to a you know, 10 billion dollar market cap in a year or two um, which is, is is great 
So I, I, don't, I don't see this as a short-term coin, but I see as like, okay, I'm going to invest a little bit right now and then continue to invest. Um, but I think it'll do, I think it'll do really well. And it's, it's got a lot of backing to it. So I really hope you like the video. Um, please, I'm, I'm trying to build this space and I would really appreciate you liking the page, commenting it. I'll definitely get back to your comments. Uh, please subscribe. I'm going to be talking about ICOs and a lot of other coins, so there's a lot of good videos to come. And I appreciate the feedback, and thank you very much.